this is Charlie from Charlie's Awesome World of Adventures and today I'm going to give you my review on Doggy Gone. On, on, it's about Phil Ilding who had so, had so much fun on with his, his new oo dog Gonka after recently moving back in, in with his pet Aaron when Gonka goes missing soon. So it's up to Fielding and his parents to try and find him again. And, and so I was pretty interested with this film. Because um, it's two things I do like. Dog movies. Please, and films that are based off a true story. Right. So I was pretty interested to see what they got here. Here. I'm not familiar with this tale, with this true story myself. So this was my proper introduction to it, and and I I can actually say that uh, if this is how the rest of the films of twenty twenty three are gonna be, if for Netflix, X we're gonna be we're gonna have a great year. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh, so let's start with the characters. To, does and I can happily say that each one of these guys is hands down um, amazed. Each of them do have have development, and while there not many characters, they do do their work, jobs well. Starting with Phil Ildi, then he is the one who loves Gonka the most and is the most determined to find the dog. Oh, however, trying to find on Gon on because put. Uh, a big toll on his mental health, as he, as he's eat, eating, eating less, as and and fe eating being low on energy, where uh, his his life might like be on the line in the same way Gonkers is. It as for his parents, when. And they are both pretty interesting characters and sort of complex in their own way. With the dad trying to, you know, to bond with Fielding, thing and the one who, uh, who's m most determined to help him find I'm Gonka, and the mum, um, who has to try to get uh, over the loss of her old dog when she was a kid. And then there's the the main dog that's gone on missing, Gonka. Okay, curiously in these finding a dog dog film, um, it's quite e easy with a simple premise to just find a dog. However, go but with Gonka, cause this ain't easy, especially actually how how he's only got uh, uh, just on under uh, three, three weeks left to have its med as as and. And that he probably won't have much left with his life. I, I've, I've, this is, this is the main reason why Fielding is the, is the time um, to get to Gon, Onka and find him at any cost. Oh, so he doesn't lose his true new friend. And another thing that I thought was done well was the acting. I'll just say that, that the acting in this movie is perfect. They really do capture the emotion that they're trying um, to get over. But and can make some pretty heartwarming scenes overall. And then there is the story. Again, I'm not familiar with the true story myself. Elf, so I'm not one to say if this is faithful or not. But I'll be honest, for what they did, if I was engaged with this story or if from, from beginning to end, and the story gets interesting quite quick, quickly, as soon as it starts. Uh, uh, it, it does a good job showing the bond between Field, Eelding and Gonka at the beginning. And, they, and how the intensity can work as when Gonka goes missing. Same. Same. But the... But the best part of the story is the heart. heart. There are two main rape relationships it's that Phil Ilden would be going through. Ooh, the main one, of course, would be with, with Gonka, 
cope with how, how much he loves of his dog, he would have have to to do anything to find him at any cost. Us, us, the second and most important one in the film, and that was portrayed very well, is the relationship with his parents. Friends, friends, friends. Well, well, both relationships can. I'd be hot, hot folk. Oh, I like the bit of emotion. There are also times when the mum would have flat flashbacks to her childhood memories with her dog. While they don't do much to, much to add into the narrative, Tim, and I will admit the film could have probably been the same without them, um, they do add some extra emotion to the film uh, uh, um, that can make the few you uh, well feel sorry for them <laughs> um, because of how, how she he lost her dog at a young age. And then there are the visuals. Look, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting much going into the visual aspect. I was probably like, eh, it's okay, but um, it's not going to be the most interesting. And while I did think that was what we were start starting with at first, us, us, once, once the whole for gun crew is on, that's when the visuals actually improve. I might as well start by talking about the best elements of the visuals, the camera angles, goals, goals, which is mainly shown within the world, in the world. Oh, was where each area is captured, captured as beautiful as it is dangerous. As you can tell there's a sense of beauty to the to the world I'll just set it. Um, but you can also tell that danger is all danger is cl could be close. Also, and ha ha how 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 Gonka might not survive. I I and even if the camera angles are the main any reason to be intrigued with this movie, the the, the setting things are actually really well done. Um, capturing it in each place on the rock. Oh, very creatively, and all the different spots that that bonka might be. Hey, another thing that got me me immersed with the visual with the score. Usually, I don't talk about the music that much unless it's for something big like a musical. Cool. However, what got me the most engaged. It was how the music is actually pr pretty good. <laughs> but, but, but while not the main element of the film, um, it does help make the visuals seem even better than what they see. And I managed I to make a good, make this film um, look better than it already does. So I'm um, for, all, for all, well, I don't know much about the true story. But I know a great dog film when I when I see one, and a dog got on is a fat and fantastic thick movie. Either I take takes this true story and expands and more on it in every way. It has a highly engaging story with some wonderful characters. Has and some surprisingly good visuals. Sure. I would highly recommend this to people who in fact people who who love dog movies or f or or those who are fat and the films that are based based upon true stories, as they'll be the ones that will definitely get the most out of this. It's, 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 this this was the absolutely one on such to to remember and not only was a memorable site, but it was a great such as well. Uh, which is why I'm happy to give this film a nine point five out of ten. And 
Wow, we're already off to a good, good start for 2023. And this is only the first film I've seen in this year. So, uh, oh, who knows? Maybe the rest of the year is going to be re really good when it comes to movies. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye!